have to understand why racism exists in the United States to begin with. And I can break it down to two words. Cheap labor. Okay, mm -hmm. now let me explain how this works out. You see, what happened was that in the, finding, in the founding period mm -hmm. of what we would now call the United States of America, okay, mm -hmm. Columbus came here primarily for not the purpose of seeing that the world was round, as the nonsense is often said, but it's also, but the, the, the primary purpose of that was to find gold and other substances so that he could sell back to the Europeans to create trade, you see. He never landed in the mainland of the United States of America. He was primary in Puerto Rico, Santo Domingo, which we now know as the Dominican Republic, and the modern day Caribbean, mm -hmm. which was not yet settled by black people. They mm -hmm. were settled primarily by what we would now call the American Indians. And in fact, the reason they got the name Indian in the first place was because he mistook those straight-haired, dark-skinned people that he saw in the Caribbean for the ones over in, uh, over in the bottom part of Asia, India. So he was enslaving the American Indian, going so far as to sell little girls as sex slaves, as well as chopping off their hands for not getting enough gold. So one of his men, Bartolomeu La Casa, said it was a shame how, what they were doing to the, in, to the Indian. So he came up with a solution. Instead of enslaving the American Indian, use the blacks from Africa. And that was Father Bartolomeu de Casa, a Spanish priest. And, on, and before he died, he begged God's forgiveness for the evil that he introduced. That was the foundation of the transatlantic slave trade. Now, why did he prefer Africans over Indians again? He honestly believed in his heart that they would not have been treated as cruelly. Now, by that time, you had uh, Anton Gonclaves of Portugal importing blacks from the west coast of Africa to Portugal, but these people were primarily used as house servants. And you also had the Portuguese bringing enslaved labor to Brazil by this point, too. But it was after Bartolomeu La Casa that it came on a grand scale. In fact, David Walker and David Walker's appeal referred to him as that wretch. Now, here's where the racism comes in. As Kwame Nkrumah, the founder of the modern nation of Ghana, has uh, mentioned in his autobiography in 1957, racism did not cause slavery. Slavery caused racism because slavery existed throughout the world prior to this point. The British, in fact, were once slaves to the Romans during the Roman Empire a fact that is not widely known. The word slave itself comes from the word Slav of the central people in Europe, i.e. Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, and so forth. They were once referred to, you know, that's where we get the word slaves from, is, a, is an anglicized version of that. And it existed all around the world. When you conquered a group of people, they were enslaved. That was the general pattern. So when people ask, well, how could the African chiefs sell each other as slaves? Simple they did not see themselves as one people. Because you see, the world did not define itself up until 500 years ago by race. The Europeans dealt with each other. If you were in Europe, you didn't say, I am a European. It was, I'm a Frenchman, I'm an Irishman, I'm a German, and so forth. In Africa, I, you were a Watusi, you were a Zulu, you were a Mende, you were a Fulani, and so forth. And it went like that. How? Because you have to remember, Prior to the transcontinental slave trade, most people never went 20 miles beyond their place of their birth to begin with. Mm. All right? So, with this that's going on, as the Africans are brought over here, you also had the white indentured servants coming from Europe. Mm -hmm. They either committed crimes or owed debts in Europe. They were brought over here to work for seven years off of their uh, sentences, mm -hmm. and they were freed with land. Problem was, in colonial Virginia, they were getting too chummy with the blacks. You had Nathaniel Bacon in 1676, who tried to start Bacon's Rebellion, where, which would have completely disrupted that system. So the fear of the plantation owners was, if these poor white indentured servants and these poor enslaved blacks got together, there would be the end of their rule.
And from that day to this, anyone who has tried to bring them together and overthrow that structure has been vilified or killed.